Yeah, there's a few. Um, I was saying the story yesterday. I walked into the hoodie gym and there was the whole Japanese team there. And they were warming up on the hardest boulders in, in, the, in the room. And people were just watching. They couldn't stop looking at them. Yeah, the they're amazing. OK, well, we have a Czech climber, Alts, Martina Briskova. So not a Czech climber, Slovak climber. And this climb, uh, Rodrigo, it's a fingery one to start off with. Yeah, definitely. I think they're doing a very good job here and having all the styles for all the climbs and all the rounds. Um, this is definitely a power, creepy one. She's had one go, she's going to start again. Pretty good holds to start off with, not bad feet, but then the crimps come quickly. And these are the new flat holds that they just released, um, these crimps. Yeah, it is a tricky one for sure. Um, the taxes to bring holds to Brazil are quite high. Um, so every time I come to Europe is when I get to see all the new holds. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have many, but we have some really good brands. Well, as you're saying that, Martina gets the zone for the first time. She's got to use it, and she has been awarded it on the bottom left of your screen. That came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, that's a powerful cross for Yeah, that was close. But we've no idea yet, because we've just started the round. Yeah, I think this one is going to be a tough one for everyone. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I was surprised, especially Boulder 3, which we'll see later. It's a difficult one. This is a replay here. Crossing through, missing that pinch, but good progress from her. That's amazing. To be on a World Cup stage after six years is unbelievable. All right, well, Martina goes up onto these crimps once more, digging that toe in on the left as she comes up towards the zone and holds it again. She's looking better now. Yeah, I think that rest did her good. Yeah, she's, she's, she managed the club pretty well. Let's see if she gets this move. Oh. Maybe a bit too powerful for her, this one. And let's see her highlights. This was down low. Really not a bad hold and pretty good feet to start off with. You can yeah. see the second you take the weight off them, you can ping off like she did. Yeah, she did a really good job holding this song. OK, so my approaches. We'll see boulder number two on the next round. But right now, we we'll stick with just one athlete. She also decided to go left hand for on her first attempt, like Martina did. Let's see if she's going to change. Going for the other thing first. Yeah. Maya from Team Israel, it's the Israeli coach down at the front, one of two. Alex Kazanov, ex athlete, is one of the coaches for Ayala mainly. And it's very weird to see Alex in a different role. Yes. You know, with an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool to see the athletes. Oh, yeah. she got the pinch. Let's see if she can do it. Oh, wow. This is good stuff. Could this be her first semi final top here? Matches, it is. That's an incredible start for her in her first semi final. Oh, my mouth is open. I'm surprised about that. That was incredible stuff. Climbers being coaches. It's, it's a strange transition. Yeah, but it's also one that I think I would like to do, maybe. Okay. I definitely go maybe for root setting in the future, uh -huh. but coaching is also something that I'm, I would consider. But how old are you now? 21. Oh, but you've got ages then. Yeah. This is, this is future career time. Yes, in um, quite a few years. Yes, absolutely. Well, things might change by then. We'll have robotic coaches and you know, AI root setting. <laughs> AI root setting would be good. I already find it so amazing how they're doing the visualization of the boulders mm -hmm. on the screen. Oh, the 3D thing. The 3D thing is crazy. Yeah, no, it is. And I think there's improvements with that that could be made as well. Like, I want to be able to see, like, distances. And also, I want to see an athlete's perspective. It will be Afra Hoyn from Germany. And we get to see boulder number two as Martina comes back onto the mat. Now, the scoreboard on the right, uh, that will change a lot, especially at the beginning. Just six athletes can make it through. And you can see the split screen now. Obviously, only two athletes are climbing at the moment. So the first two screens are there. But later on, three and four will be in action on this slab coordination style thing. And you're right about the vertical walls. I hadn't really thought about it. But there aren't many steep sections on this. Yeah, there's a lot of light angles this time, which makes it also better for having a lot of different coordination moves. Yeah, yeah the set is uh, Sergio is our head route setter this weekend. His first time doing a job. And so far, fingers crossed, touching wood, he's done a brilliant job, I thought. Yeah, he's an amazing route setter. He set um, our South American Championships last year. Okay. And it was a great competition. Yeah. There's a, uh, there was a move that was never seen in comps for the men's semis, which was a, a dino into a fist jam. Or whatever. Uh, well, Afra is struggling a little bit on the crimps at the moment. 
mix it and match before hitting that zone hold. Looking good on the zone. Yeah, it's the first time she's got it, so points on the board for her. Oh, interesting method. She didn't keep her left foot up. Wow. Nice it seems technique. that once you've got that pinch, it's kind of over. Yeah. I figured the top would be a bit more... Me too, yeah. Interesting, but it's pretty much a heel hook and match. Yeah, the set is easing the athletes in a bit with Golden number one. So it's crazy to see athletes like Tomoa just figuring out coordination on their like, first try. I know, I don't get it. It just, yeah, it's beyond me, that one. So Martina creeps up. It's a really nasty press, this. And then a big quarter move. She gets it this time, but now she's got the swing to come. Let's see what method she's going to use. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Count back, so the position they finished up in does play a difference as well. And we see that in finals quite a lot. But Boulder, we see less draws usually. Yeah, it's hard to time bouldering out. Oh, she got it again. She's learned that. She's only got 35 seconds, that's not a lot of time. This might be her last attempt. I think she'll go for another one. No. Yeah, she's down on that one. The, the five minutes go so fast when you're trying a coordination move. It's crazy. Do you do a lot of training for that? Like, do you set yourself a time limit in the gym and sort of put that pressure on yourself? Yes, I, I don't do it all the time, but I think it's important to do it every few weeks mm -hmm. to keep yourself like fresh with those kind of things that you only see in competition. So Alma Bestvata comes on. Yeah, and coming back from injuries, after you heal, you always come back stronger. So it's kind of nice. Yes, it's good to have her back in the World Cup semi-final. Right, out with that left hand, drives the foot back on. She's going to go up to the zone first, I think. Changing hands, and she does it. So she flashes the zone. Can she flash the ball? We know it's easier if you get this next move. Oh, a bit low. Missed it. But it's interesting that in the first move, athletes are really changing up going left hand and right hand. Yeah, you're right. There's like a variety of different ways through that. That's in today's World Climbing Club show, which is on YouTube. Awesome dude. He came onto the, uh, the, the finals live stream yesterday as well. That's amazing. It's cool to have him. I met him in isolation. He was really nice. Yeah. He's very unlike a climber. He's enormous in terms of muscles. He's got massive leg muscles. He's so strong. Yeah. Super, super strong. She changed that up here, um, Alma. So she went right hand first and then went to the zone. Oh, got the cross. And that should be a top for her. Great work from Alma. Awesome. We're seeing quite a lot of tops on the first one. So I wonder how that's going to keep following with the next athletes. Can put a bit of pressure on, can't it? Because, you know, athletes are aware of what's going on backstage. And if you know everyone is topping a climb, it means you have to top it. Yeah, it definitely adds into the mental pressure. So Maya starts this swing. She's trying to stop on that hole. But it's interesting, she, Martina also tried the same beta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it might work both ways. So we see someone like Yanya, for example, who's not competing here, by the way. She's done for the season. But Yanya always stops where the root setters don't think she can stop. <laughs> the thing that blew my mind with Yanya was when she did the big five in font in a day. That was incredible. Right after doing that V15 climb. Yes, which she did twice. Once because she didn't like the camera angle. <laughs> it's like, just crazy. It's amazing. Oh, that. So that's more what you would do. Yes, that's exactly the bait I thought for it. Let's see a replay of this then. So this is what Rodrigo was saying. Hit that right hand, come in the underclean. She was just a bit far away from the wall that time. I think this is probably her last attempt on this climb. Yeah, 30 seconds on the clock. This is going to be it, isn't it? She's cruising these moves. Yeah, it's been a great performance. Well, she taps it again, but in a similar position. Not so fast with the left hand. No. She's going to go again. And I'm, no, she's done. All right, Selma Manuit comes on. You know, maybe some things happen. So if you haven't seen it, hurry up and go and see it. Because <laughs> I want to talk about it. Yes. <laughs> the men's final was such a crazy... Oh, well, everything would stay as it was. Yep. And everything changed. <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. It was. I love how we're not giving it away, and yet we're... <laughs>
movement and to make the movement, like to force the movement. I struggle with no texture stuff because I'm bad at it. And I'm not very coordinated at the best of times. So when I have to stand on something slippery, it really goes wrong for me. But <laughs> I don't know what my favorite is. It's a good question, I have to think about it. I like crimps. Fair enough. Yeah. And I, I love the new glitter Rock City holds. But yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, these new volumes as well with like animal... Yeah, oh yes. I had a whole discussion on a live stream in the UK about exactly which animal it was, because there was one that looked like a bit like a... I think it was a leopard, and we're trying to figure out oh. if it was a leopard or another animal. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I love people at home going, what are you talking about? But basically there's, a, there's giant volumes that are uh, coloured in various different animal colours, like cheetahs or zebras or lions or whatever. Oh, no. And then the dual text goes crazy. Yes. Like oh, the, the ghost ones, yes. For the zebra one, the black parts are dual text, the yeah. white parts are textured. Deep. We have Ayala now. Yeah, we could definitely see all the athletes so nervous before the Olympics. Mm -hmm on their preparation. I think it was really exhausting for everyone. Yeah, it was. So Ayala is underway now on the crimp. She's a powerful climber. Might enjoy this first sequence. And her teammate did good practice on the first polar. She did, you're right. And Ayala is straight into the zone now. Let's see if she's going to try the cross. She's not looking super comfortable in the position, but still gets the move. And she was, had a silver medal in the European Champs a few weeks ago, and she's flashed this first ball. That's a perfect start for Ayala. Great job from her. Oh, so far, her teammate Maya has got the zone yet on number three. And this is the last time we won't see Bowler fall, so next rotation we'll see that last, which is a slab climb. Interesting to see now that Martina did a really good job getting all the zones. Mm. The other athletes didn't do so well, but no tops for her. Yeah, close but not quite, hey? And that was actually the story of the men's final last night. So many athletes were holding the last hold or came really close to it, couldn't quite finish it seems almost fairer because you yeah. climb further you get more points i am super in favor of the 5 10 25 Me too, man. not only for the scoring but i just think it's more interesting actually yeah and they all feel like a journey <laughs> yeah, okay, yes yeah i've seen some long holes okay so alma is on women's two here quite a pressy move as she stands up and is very low on that right hand and these snap holds we have seen them in the competition scene but not so much from snap yeah the volumes are you only getting bigger and bigger and bigger? <laughs> yeah, it's a real feature. Maya claws her way onto that crimp. She goes with the right hand and then matches. And when I stood underneath it, I thought it's way easy to go with the right, but I didn't know how you bring the left in, but obviously possible to match. Yeah, she matched though from the top, whereas Martina matched from the bottom. We are here in Prague for the women's semi-final. My name is Matt Groom, I'm by Rodrigo Hanada from Team Brazil. First time in the commentary box, and I've got to say, you're really good at this. Oh, thank you. So yeah, much, you, know, you know your stuff, man. And yeah, we're watching the women's semi-final later on this evening at 6.30 Central European time, we'll have the finals. No, she's still low on it. I think she's got to work out the feet a bit better here. Yeah, the way we saw Martina do it was jumping one hand with keeping one hand on the white pole and the other one going straight to the zone. I feel like that's probably a better beta. Let's see if she can figure out. I think it's 20 seconds. I don't think it's time. And Maya, Martina will, sorry, Maya, Maya Dreamer will leave us. And so will Alma. Alma trying to match. Yeah, I think you're right. She needs to go out with that right first. Yeah, that zone is not so much further. And it's a way better, yes. So, Sophia Yokoyama. Yeah, Boulder Specialist. We should expect a top from her. Everyone has been doing pretty well on the first Boulder so far. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, so the first one struggling with it. So another semi-finals for her, and she's good consistently into semi-finals, but not many finals. And even though we are seeing the people who qualified in the bottom part of the top 20, it doesn't mean that they're not amazingly strong. 
the bowlers are all very, very hard, and they're all like almost everyone in the same level. And often they surprise me as well. You know, sometimes you think a bowler set is too easy, and then you realize the athlete was actually just incredible in that moment. And also, I think there's something to be said about fresh holds as well. You know, no one's touched them. That can be a bit of an advantage if you're coming out lower down. And that's also another spoiler of our men's final. Uh -huh. How that last border, we expected tops from different people. Yep, that's true. I love how we're teasing the heck out of this. You've got to go and watch it. It was brilliant. So Selma needs something here after failing to get a zone on that first one. I would love to try this border. Yeah, you yeah, you love a slab, don't you? How did you get good at it? Was it something you always just were naturally talented at or did you work at it? Yeah, I think slabs always came easier to me. I think I'm very good at not being of not hitting my face and everything on the wall when falling. So I just go for the moves. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's I think oh wow, Selma with a full rotation here. That's very interesting. It's working for her. Yes. And there it is, the zone. The crowd love that. Big spin. And the French tend to be very good in coordination. And slabs. And slabs. I'm so excited to see how these are going to turn out in the end of the event. And Sophia is having a long think here. No zone for her yet. Yeah, so far not a lot of tops. Oh, it's low scoring at the moment. This is Afra. The big drop knee, squeezing herself into that box position. Seems harder, that, to me. I don't think we've seen anyone make it work so far. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Um, what's her name? Alma did it like that. I can't remember if she did it on the Sen, but she looked okay. But it's definitely harder, I think. Selma doing again her 360 move. <laughs> I love that. And now she's got it down. It looks like a good way of doing it. Yeah. I think you gotta have your right foot already on the second volume. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your body's gonna be too much away from the wall. She knows time is ticking away, and this was important to get. Let's watch Selma's replay. She comes out. That hold only has the, the grip really in the back, so you've got to hit it in the perfect spot. Okay. Sophia, this might be her last chance at this. 15 seconds to go. Still keeping the beta off going for the end of it first. About to rock up so far on the right foot. And there's films that she played, there's music, the live music. Yeah, and that's so nice of the crowd to be here as well. It's such a nice atmosphere to have so many people watching. So our first Japanese athlete is out, Melody Sikawa. Yeah, she had to fight hard during the qualies, but made it through. Struggling with that first move on her first attempt. Ayela is back on. She flash bowled at number one to see if she's feeling coordinationed. <laughs> that's not a word. <laughs> Coordinated. There we go, that's the word. I wonder if anyone's gonna do the beta Selma did again. It was very unique, wasn't it? Certainly I was not gonna try it that time. Not finding quite the position right there. It's, it's always not a very nice position to be in. Alma is down on the far right. And so far what has been the more the most visually appealing climb for you? Good question. Um, visually appealing. I think I think I just can't see past the, the jump into the fist jab. You know, that was a really cool thing. To see that no texture. To see their fist in between yeah, the exactly. on the camera. Yeah, I think that was special. I think with any new thing, the temptation is to go too far with it and make it a gimmick. And uh, there's been a bit of that perhaps, but when it, it's used like that, it makes perfect sense. I, I thought it was incredible. And Melody here, getting a top, most likely. Yeah, she's in, isn't she? What about you? What's your, your most aesthetic boulder so far? Um, that's a really hard choice. I like the crimps of boulder one, but I think I like the looks of boulder two, if I can pick and choose. So, Ayala stretches up with the left hand. She needs to really put some 
pressure through that left palm if she can. Oh, that's... That looks hard. Very low on it. She's got to bring the left foot over. Really close by her. I love how Ayala always does this. She's like flat on her back, resting. You know, there's no sitting. She's, if she's resting, she's lying down. <laughs> Some climbers here prefer to brush their own holds, mm -hmm. and others always ask for, for them to brush. What's your preference? I honestly forget to ask really? people to brush for me when I'm in the mats. But I think it's a smarter decision. Uh -huh. You rest better. Yeah, you do. And it's hard work brushing sometimes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A bit of effort. I remember during COVID times, it was what you had to do. And some of the athletes were you know, saying that. It was quite tiring to do. All right. So uh, Alma is trying to work her way into this corner section. Remember that blue plate has got no friction. Left foot, as you can see, not standing on much. Yeah, not much at all. Just seeing a fall here from... From Maya, from Alma, sorry. Yeah, and Ayala is not enjoying the start of this on your main screen. We haven't seen much progression on the slab as well. No, you're right, I haven't even paid attention to it. Let's watch it now. But on the top middle of the screen, yeah, the starting position this weekend. You know, that first moves. Yeah, the, all the slabs have had really hard starting positions. And we We've seen quite a lot of these presses as well. We're seeing a press on the start of number four and on the middle of all the three right there. Let's see if Ayala has figured something out. So far, it's the same method. That left foot is just stuck. I wonder if she could jump straight to the zone from this position. She's going to have to, right? She, she's trying to match it. She looks very stretched. Yeah, it's not going to be enough time. So Ayala, with a puff out of her cheeks, will leave. Mm -hmm. Specifically on this one, I'm the only one competing. I decided to skip Innsbruck to do this one. Yeah. So most of the team was in Innsbruck. Okay. So Andrea Kuhmann from Switzerland starts off. Also going left hand first. Let's see if she's going to match. Oh, trying just like her teammate, Sophia. Yeah. I mean, it's in sequence. I get it. There is Sophia on the slab. She's doing a bit like Ayala did, trying to press into it. But she's... Worked her feet over a bit more, which is quite short is Sophia. She's actually I haven't got her height, so it's not in our data system, but she's a bit smaller. And I'm pretty sure that's Afra on her final climb on the slab as well. Hard to see. Little screen. And Selma on the far right who needs something here. She's only got one zone so far. Sophia going for the jump method, looking really good. Keep an eye on top left as well, because Andrea is in. One hard move to come before the top should be easy, and she does hold it, so I'm expecting her to get this. We're probably going to get a top from Andrea. Oh, and look at someone getting the zone there. That's the first time we see someone doing this. Yeah, and she really needed that because she's missed out before, and look how much it jumps her up the leaderboard. And so far, no zones on the slab. No, it's brutal, that thing. So this was a replay of Andrea Kuhmann. Cross through, that was the danger moment. She pulled the body back in and then an easy jump, a little bit of an adjust and a simple heel to finish things off. Good work from her, she matches. And the temperature at the stadium is a lot hotter than it was yesterday. The mascots are spraying water guns at the audience. <laughs> yes, it is. It's kind of, that's a perfect day to Oh, yes, I am too. Prague is literally a city to have a beer yes. if you do like it. We've got we've got water here in the commentary box. It's very sad. I have to upgrade later on. Oh, and Sophia getting the zone right there. Great work from her. She figured that out, and there's plenty of time for the top sequence. Doesn't get it that time, but did we seem to know the right data? You know, she was a bit down, I think, after that first climb. But this is much better from her. Yeah, it would be really cool to see a top from her here. Great shot that to show how far the athletes travel on that boulder. Must be like what, six meters or so from left to right? Yeah, it is really far. Mm. The coordination section itself, probably three meters. Yeah, it's a great boulder. Well, she's oh, look at this, way she better. The start. She has, good way of phrasing it, yeah. Oh, closer. I think we could see a top from her. And Selma getting... No! no. 
She kind of moved that toe hook away before fully committing to it. Oh, and she needed that top. She didn't get the first one done. Yeah. Oh, but if she can get this, no one else has. So, big moment for Selma in her competition. And so far, the slab <laughs> giving a lot of trouble to the athlete. I've done that so many times. I find running across mats very difficult to do. Yes, I've done that plus hitting my face oh, on the wall. So many times, man. My knee. I've once I shattered my knuckle by running in and punching the rock on the way up. Awful. Sophia, oh, yeah, close. I gotta say that's the worst feeling when you go to run a, to step on a volume yeah. and you miss the volume and go straight on yeah. the wall. And you feel so silly, don't you? And yes. everyone can hear it because you make a big thump as well. And it's so funny. Yeah. Yes, and no one ever seems to get it on film as well. You know, it's one of those things you want someone to be filming it because afterwards it's very funny. Yeah. Right, Sophia leaves. She got pretty close, managed the zone, but couldn't put the top section together. And Selma as well will have to leave the mats. Fighting on these slope disciples. Look at her trying really, really hard there. Oh, yeah. Wow, really hard. <laughs> right, Anna Marie Apple comes out as we hit the halfway point in this semi final. It's a hard transition, isn't it, from junior to senior? It's not easy to do that. Yeah, and it's also a sad one. Youth Worlds is such an amazing event. Mm. I agree. I'm so disappointed that I don't get to go to that anymore. And because uh, I love that event. I know my colleague as well really enjoys it. Yeah, Anna got a uh, bronze medal in, the, in this year's one in Boulder. So she's on that transition in. What I just remembered, I think we have a photo together from the Youth Championships in Verona. No way! 2021. Wow, that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Yes. I remember the train journey so well from Moscow to Voronezh. It was brilliant. Well, look at this from Anna Maria. She's into the hard moves now. Wants a high heel. Oh, I thought she had it. Me too. I'm kind oh. of surprised, isn't it? Well, let's see this again. So she got the first move done really quickly. She did get zone on number three, which has proven to be a hard zone. Yeah, true. So she's done well, she's got lots of time left. There we go. And we Apple will go again. She dropped this neck, this move after here, this cross through before. Doing easy work on the start though. Oh wow, oh, that is a crazy uh, oh, I love that. It's super unique beta from her. Amazing work. Cruised it. That was impressive. So the press dropped knee. No one else has done that yet, that I saw. Yeah, you can see the list, everyone down to top seven, all topping uh, boulder number one. Okay, so with two minutes to go, we are watching Melody once more on this coordination move. He starts to flick that right foot over. And Ayala resting on your top right of the screen. Melody has a long look. It's actually hit the mat, her eyes flicked upwards. Co-commentator has just popped out, Rodrigo. By you guys, but I'm really impressed with him. I love it when new commentators come into the commentary box and share their expertise, especially when they're really good at it. All right, Melody, again on this jump. Out she goes. Oh, that was much better technique from her. Hit the right, got the left in, and you can see that little run back to the chalk bags that she knows she's unlocked something there. Ayala, powerful. She presses off that left hand, gets a drop knee underneath, pressing with the left, kind of sandwiching herself in between the red volume and the black. Lay back in that left arm, and a foot bobbles. That was good work from Ayala, that. 
Melody, meanwhile, comes up, pressing into the white volume, hits the black. She's got this move absolutely locked in. So much better. That's the closest we've seen with 18 seconds to go. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough time to finish things off. But what a performance from Melody. I just, I just want to... <laughs> this was Anna Maria Apple. As we said, up and come up. Great in China. And really coming through now. She wants to watch for Team Germany. They've got a few. Shay and So! And a huge competition. Lead Speed and Boulder will be in action in this lady's hometown. And she's so good at bouldering now. Back in the day, she used to just be a lead specialist. It was great to have her performing so well. That is Andrea Kumin on the slab as well. Sophia Yokoyama is getting a brush as well. So you've been out in the crowd. What's it like out there? It's amazing, man. The crowd is looking fantastic. It's quite hot out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the mat itself, because I, during the qualification, uh, I was wandering around there, which is watching Shion So cross through here. She can get this done. She'll be in. Yes, I'm expecting her to finish this. Yeah, behind the wall, it's quite cold, weirdly. Like, I was in a T-shirt the other day and it was, it was cold. So it's good. I think the conditions are good for the athletes, but not the crowd. Yeah, the, the structure was built quite smart. Mm. They, I think they really thought about the sun. Um, yeah, it's pretty chill for the athletes in there. It's good. Yeah, it is. And big isolation area as well with a huge spray wall to warm up on. Well, quick send from Shion So. Sophia Yokoyama, meanwhile, has got through the first hard move and now is trying to figure out her feet here. And actually, interestingly, I think the setters were thinking about putting a jib on that volume and they decided against it. Yeah, they always make last minute mm. decisions on whether or not to make the climbs a bit or not yeah. harder. And I, I like that because, you know, obviously they test and often they test quite late at night and the conditions, I mean, last night was very cold. And she's outside of that top six at the moment in 10th with just two zones. Definitely a very, very tough round. Yeah, you're right. As we hit the halfway mark, only one boulder has been sent. Only zones on the rest. Yeah, and not by everyone as well, the first one. I, as a commentator, I prefer more of a high-scoring round, but athletes tend to like it when they really have to fight. Is that right? Yeah, I think for the crowd, it's cool to see tops, mm. but I also tend to like a very, very hard round. Mm. Yeah, I know there's a lot of complaints when there's like, let's say there's four flashes, you know. You hate that because it's, you know, you, there's, it's hard to separate them. Yeah, I mean, me as an athlete, I also want to be challenged. Yes. So if you go to a final and you flash everything, it's definitely not so nice. Yeah, that's fair enough. The crowd loves it. Yes, but, of course. But yes, it's, there's a lot to talk about. It's kind of exciting. You get to the last ball there and you have no idea who was winning. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? And the thing is, you've got to write, writing the script is almost impossible. You never know. Oh, look at this. Andrea's into the first. Yeah, you never know how the athletes are feeling, the conditions, everything could change. And it's so hard to get a perfect round. Yeah, it is. Well, we have seen a very good job from the Rutsers and Comp so far. Yeah. Andrea Kuman struggling on that jump. The Selma stood up on the slab, but immediately slid down the slab. As we see her pull on now. I think she's struggling a bit with the left foot on that blue jib. Yeah. Up she goes again. 30 seconds is not a lot of time. This is now or never for her in this boulder. Let's see if she's gonna... Oh, she's going for a drop in method now. Seems to be working. That's very nice. Yeah, the position is comfortable. It's hard to move out of it, though. Ah, not quite. Tough stuff for Sofia Yokoyama here. She's down in 11th at the moment. Only one zone to her name. Selma will also have to leave. She's outside of a finals place. I hope we see some crazy action from the top 10. I think it's coming. I mean, look, top three, for example, Erin McNeese, Natalia Grossman, Zelia Avazu, and top four, Jennifer Buckley. You know, that's big. And Osh McKenzie to come, Nile Mignon, she's up next. The boulder specialist from France. In fact, she's on the mat, so there she is. I've got to be honest, I, there's certain athletes' style 
you know, I try not to be biased, but I really enjoy watching Nile climb, like the way she figures out moves. Yeah, she's she's such a great climber. And we did we did um, not see her in the circuit for a while. I think she was dealing with some she heart injury. Bad knee injury, yeah. Yeah. And then of course the way it's currently set up the circuit, especially with the Olympics where lead and boulder is combined, you know, she's much more of a boulder specialist and it's hard to break into a team when the team know you're not going to be fighting for an Olympic race. It's true. Yeah, definitely. But she's doing a great job. Anna Maria gets the first zone really quickly and then is, has to work on the second. Ayala Karem is on the slab and Melody on the power boulder. Uh, the team from Czech TV capturing the action well. I really want to see them getting this first moves on the yellow climb done. I do too. I just well, I want to see hear your slab expertise in this one. Miley opting for the foothold now as the hand. I wonder if she's gonna try to go for the zone first or she's gonna keep the beta. Melody here trying to figure something out. That's a pretty tough zone to get. Is Anna Maria presses into the start of the white holes. She's the first doing, doing it like that, bringing both feet to the right first. It's a very specific sort of flexibility to do that. Yeah, but also not getting the coordination. This could be it for her. Yeah, I'm sure to get it. It should be, shouldn't it? She's a bit taller, can make that stretch left. Didn't even swing yet. Oh, wow, mm. she's still not done, though. She's, she's not. She doesn't want to cut loose. Oh, wow, feet first. This is very risky. She's upside down. This is something the root setters would hate to see. Head down. Oh, I'm holding my breath here. She's inspired by Adam on semi finals. Oh. Yes, or um, uh, Adam Shahar. Yeah, Adam Shahar. Yes. Yeah. That was so crazy. That was, the, yeah. It was the craziest top of the comp. It was Matt, and that's his first semi final as well. Yeah. Incredible stuff. I Same as Arch. I feel like yeah. it's a. I wouldn't call it a beginner's luck, but the, be the f people who've been in the semis for the first time, they yeah. tend to do so well. I think you just climb free. You know, you haven't got. I mean, do you remember Oriane Berton way back in the day when she started? She just did stuff that no one else was doing because she didn't know any better. You know? Yeah. It's great. I think the longer you've been on the circuit, the more you start to understand what the setters want. And, you know, you just become boring, don't you? But look at this. Yeah. I but I think the first time you make semis. You're just so excited, you try so hard. Yeah. But Nile's experience that she still went upside down. It was a pretty interesting talk. It was. I was nervous because always when your head is pointing down towards the mats like that, it's risky. And it's something a move the setters wouldn't put on the wall. You know, they know it, it's yeah. potential to injure yourself. And it's hard to see it as well on the screen how high she was up the wall. Oh, it's, it's like five meters up there. I remember uh, a, Salt Lake, a Salt Lake City setter telling me that Colin Duffy once did a similar thing and he was like upside down with a heel above his head and he fell and they were saying how like no one had even considered that that would be a possibility. I think he did something similar in Salt Lake as well but did send the climb. Okay. Pink one. It yeah. would be possible to put the foot where he did. Yeah. Wild. I, I mean we love to see it when it, when it works. We should have a camera on the root setter faces every time an athlete does something crazy. <laughs> we should. Apparently on the slab yesterday, there was a setter being a bit nervous with all the slips we were seeing. Yeah. Because there was a different, a much easier way of doing that that no one seemed to spot. So Melody, she comes into the side pulls here, gets a big drop knee in. No, not quite. Mayela has to leave as well, and she is, well, she's second at the moment. Gets you to second place like Ayala. Crazy, eh? Okay, well, nearing the top 10 now. Osh McKenzie will be up next as we watch a replay of Nile's top once more. Moment of the semi final so far, that. She should have no trouble sending this first ball there, I think. So Osh McKenzie is on stage as we watch one final shot of Anna Marie Apple launching across, but just missing that move. Yeah, as part of the World Climbing Club, we did our the grid walk I do when I walk around trying to find athletes, and both her sisters were there. It was a really great moment. They're all together. Yeah, it's so nice. 
how she trains, like, and her sister is always traveling with her. Yeah. It makes a total difference, I think. Look at the power from Oshia as she eyes up this cross through move, puts in a heel. This is how I would have seen it. She tends to cruise the power boulders, as we're seeing here, and I think she should have it. Easy top. And her endurance has got so much better. You know, Copper, she's incredible in the finals. Yeah, so close to a medal there. Really close. Fourth place in both. Yeah, she's, she's just come on. I'm an all-round athlete from a boulder specialist. So Sophia has to have a go at this slab that no one has even got close to yet. And yeah. that's why that press is hard. She definitely needs this top right now. Shan So on the Cordo move. Let's see this again from O. She was so quick. Our cameras were on her throughout. I think she's the first one who did this left heel hook for the zone. Which I'm surprised because that, that's exactly what I thought they would all do is put a heel in. <laughs> I love that little kick she did with the legs there, <laughs> clapping the heels together at the end to celebrate. Good work. Right, Andrea Kuman, let's see if she's feeling powerful here as she gets herself pressed up into these red bolts. She hasn't tried the drop knee yet. No, not yet, you're right. Well, that drop knee hasn't really worked that well. It's okay. Yeah, I think we haven't seen the anyone get through it yet. No. No tops. Slipping, falling from chance. Oh, but a big catch now. So she goes for this launch. That was such a great movement from her. About an hour of this semi-final remaining now as we hit the 1 p.m. mark. You guys definitely have to go and watch. Oh, they have to. They have to see it. And if you don't have access to it, there's the highlights on YouTube you can see. Sphere, better. Yeah, palming these arc, arc lines looks really, really hard. Yeah. No jib, maybe a step too far on that slab, perhaps. Andrea cruising the start right now, but not quite figuring out the middle. The thinker of a round, this. It's interesting. Very low scoring. Oh, look, Sophia's in, brings up the right foot. Nope. Let's see Shayun going for that zone again. Easy. Yeah, lovely little flick there with her legs to balance herself out. And now she'll start this swing. A little kick in. Tried to stop on that middle hole. Yeah, so far no tops on these last three boulders. Sophia up once more. She's tried the left foot, she's tried the right. She seems to like the right better. That's looking... That's... Oh, no. Oh, that was I thought she was done. I thought she was just going to stand up then. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, that first left foot for the men's final, the slab. Yes. It was so bad. Apparently, though, they were meant to do it completely differently because a lot of them were trying to push through it, whereas yeah. it's more of just a hop up with the right foot. So you almost don't even touch that left foot. So it was set differently. And that's why one of the reasons the setters had that face you were talking about, because uh, everyone was just doing it in a weird way. But yeah. Oh, that was so close. Well, two seconds to go. We rotate through. Let's watch a replay here. That's how close it was. And Shen So as well. This is when she tried to stop on the middle hold. Oh no, not that time. That was continuing through. And Osha McKenzie, well, she did it so quickly, I'd almost forgotten she climbed, but flashing that first bolt. <laughs> yeah, it was super easy. Look at that face. Total confidence. Yeah, we do our best to make sure the conditions are similar, at least for everyone. All right, well, there is now. On. I would expect to see a quick top from her. I would too. I love her attitude as well. Like, the smile, it's nothing to do with the smile, but her positivity out of the mat. You know, you can see when she, things don't go right for her, she keeps fighting always. Yeah. Nile as well, there was a big groan from the crowd as she came close. And Anna Maria is doing really well on the far right. Let's see if she gets the zone. Oh, that's a nice... She's looking good on it. Well, Mao Nakamura gets boulder number one done. Oh, Rear falls. Damn, I thought we were going to see a top. Me too. Yeah, easy work from Mao. Absolutely. Anna Maria, by getting that zone, is up. So there's top and two zones.
Yeah, semis always tend to be the hardest mm -hmm. round. Yeah, and the athletes are tenser, I think. I mean, I've talked to a lot of people about this, that semi-final is stressful, because once you're in finals, you've kind of done your work. You know? It's just go out there, enjoy it, see what happens. Yeah. Semis, getting through that is important. And we saw that with Adam Ondra, I think, yesterday. You know, he barely made the finals. Semi-finals is always like the, the hardest round mentally as well. Do you find it stressful yourself? Yes. And sometimes when she has a few slips like that, she starts to you can see the performance go yeah. down. You know when an athlete is that emotional on stage, it might not be the best thing for their performance. Yeah. I mean, like, Stasha is a great example. She's always so emotional on stage. Yeah. Yeah, Stasha not here in Prague. You are missed if you're listening. Oh, no, they slapping left and right, but missing it. Good work from her. Anna, well, let's watch the feet here. Same method as before. She looks comfortable up to this right hand. Oh, no. What is with that right foot? I wonder if she can get that again. Oh, she's going for it. Yeah, straight on. Also, Nyla going for her last try. Yeah, Melody looked disappointed there as well. She can't figure the slab out. That is incredible. Wow. First one to get this far, but no points from this. She'll need to get a top. Suddenly this round comes on fire here. She comes in. Yes. That is amazing. Wow. Incredible job. And I tell you what, it might be a hard round, but the separation's pretty good now. It's getting there. Yeah. It's definitely coming. So two out of two, this lady such a bolder specialist that skip over it was the hip position she was almost horizontal with the hips and not doing the beta that we expected no, to be done not at all but the french are always like that they're so good in coordination yeah that is a speaker by the way in the way of that shot that's the top hole it's not a giant square got it held the top of the wall job done wow okay Katya Debovitz will start her semi-final here and she has that never give up attitude as well. It doesn't matter for her if things go wrong, she can seem to pull herself together and it's, it's impressive mental strength. Yeah, it's a good skill to have. Yeah. Shen So down on the right is on the power boulder and Andrea Kubin is trying to finish her finals off strong. She she, seven. she already like getting close to that zone. Yeah, and in a different method, she hasn't brought the left foot up yet. Now she puts her knee in. And it wasn't quite. Catchy comes up with the left hand, but can't hold it. You know, Shana? Good first oh, attempt, right? Yeah. I wonder if she'll do the same as Nile or coordinate the whole thing. I think Nile worked that out almost in the movement, you know, just felt right to her. Do you always have. I, I presume when you see a boulder in the semi final, you have a plan, but how often does that plan change? Do you sometimes change what you're thinking mid climb? Um, yeah, definitely. I go a lot by feeling, mm -hmm. um, so I don't make a lot of planning about my movement. I like to feel my body, okay. and after an attempt, I kind of learn something always. Interesting. Yeah. For coordination, is a lot about feeling, I think. Yeah. And I guess you never know what the holds feel like until you're touching them. And that's also something that the climbing holds are doing now, the brands, they're making they're making very similar holds uh -huh. and then with different endings. So like okay. some of them might be juggy, others very sloppy. So it can kind of trick you a little bit. You think it's one thing and it's not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so close. Very close to Moe. She immediately wants a brush. But that nod of the head implied that she knows what's up here on this one. Shenzo is not getting to grips with this yet. She's not using that left foot like the others are doing. Which doesn't mean a lot, we haven't seen anyone climb the thing yet, so maybe she's doing it the right way. And with that right hand. Watch that right foot at home, because that's the one that keeps bobbling off for all of the athletes. So far in this five minutes, the five of them, the four of them struggling. Yeah, she's been here for a long time, she's lead climbing her way through this. Oh, a knee bar! Oh. Not quite. No, I don't know if that will work. I was excited, but I don't think so. And Katja getting the zone there. Yeah, she needs to get this quickly now. Minute 45 on the clock. Anyone not doing boulder one, you leave yourself a huge task for the rest of it. 
And Oshima, so close on that move too. Oh god. She's mixing beta. She was great in the European Champs, made finals, came sick, so at the bottom of the finals, but still still the finals. Right, oh she's come close before. There we go. This ball is starting to make sense now. And this seems to be the better method. Once you've done it, got that move, you're in. That's two out of two for Osh. She's heading towards her first, uh, not first finals, obviously, her finals. That should be enough for her, two tops. She yeah. Get one more zone, she'll be pretty in. And she still has two more to go. Yeah. Good boulder. I think I think art the way we saw it actually might be the wrong way to do it. Yeah. Which is clever because if we thought that, the athletes would have thought that. And you need to think even further outside the box. You need to double guess yourself. So Anon Matsufuji as we move into our top five here in the women's semi-final. We know how important boulder one is and catcher did not did she get it? No, she didn't get it. No, Kacha didn't send it. So that's her in trouble. Yeah, the first bowler is proving to be more and more important. Yeah, exactly that. And on on Matsumi is not letting go there. We haven't seen her compete since Innsbruck. She flashes the first semi-final boulder really quickly. Good work from her. Yep, she gets a nod from the judge. The judges hold up scorecards so the athletes can just check. Now Nile, who was the hero of Boulder 2, the first one to send it. Let's see if she can do the same on Boulder 3. Looking good, i got to say. Mm. Oh, the first one, is it? Oh, to hit that crimp? I think so. Yeah. And you can see now why the setters have put that panel in. Because if it wasn't there, you could do a big drop knee, it would be much easier. Yes, they do. Maybe a bit too hard on that Boulder. But now it's, we're starting to see more tops. It's making more sense, this semi-final. Yeah, I really hope we see some tops mm. on that red boulder. So Nile has a shake out of those arms. She still has plenty of time to make it work. Yeah, exactly. They're getting close, three minutes on the clock. And now, getting a yield. Wow. Oh, Chris did. Yeah, that hit is interesting. Let's see if she's going to get the coordination move for a shrine. Oh, that she was nearly stopped. <laughs> that was so smooth. I think she's got it. Mm. It's clever because you slow the movement down by matching like that. And this is Anna. We've barely seen anything of the slab. It's, it, it's certainly harder than what the setters would have wanted. Yeah, they might think it's just them. And you can what? see it on their faces, everyone leaving the slab so mad. Yeah. Do you, what's the, when you come back into the audience, do you, do you immediately talk to other people and just work it out? Like, what's your, your routine? I feel like first thing I do is like, I want to see where I'm standing at on the results. And then like, talk to people, see what they thought of the climbs mm -hmm. with other athletes. Yeah, it's something you see a lot like, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it, but um, Jakob Schubert always does it close there. Yeah, Jakob Schubert just, just always just wants to talk about climbing when he's finished climbing. A lot of people just don't want to talk about it at all. Yeah. And others really like discussing the boulders. Easy to forget what you've done as well. So you might as well talk about it immediately and sort yeah. of fresh in your brain. And it's good to know how like, people solve it you know, in different ways. Yeah. You can learn a lot. All right, Nile sits on the heel, presses that left palm in. That's, oh, that's smart. That was a very interesting bit of her. Missing the zone and going up to the right hand. So Mao once more has stood up. Matches. Kicks. She's getting a bit further away now, and 22 seconds. I think she's feeling a bit tired. Damn. She was looking good. With a big smile on her face that never seems to leave, she will exit the stage. Anna Maria going for her last eight second attempt. Oh, no. Yeah, no go. But Anna 
Anna Maria, she says goodbye, but she's currently in fifth. Yeah, Jennifer Buckley or Jenny Buckley will be up next from Slovenia. Super young, just 16. Kick over from now. We're welcoming now Jenny Buckley. Yeah, and I'm really impressed by this lady. She's so intelligent to talk to, and for someone so young, she just gets it. She understands, and currently doesn't seem to be feeling all the pressure. But there is a lot of talk about this lady. She falls off at first move. She was looking good on those first moves. Let's see, Oceana trying to work her way through the zone. I'm looking forward to seeing her on this ball, but... Yeah, Team Slovenia bringing another good team, of course. Yeah, that's nice. Shire still not getting the start of the yellow as well. Yeah, and Katja Debovitz has it all to do after missing the top on that first climb. She is, especially with this set, you... I, predict it would be impossible having not done that first climb to get yeah. into finals I mean I agree she's gonna have to really do like crazy well in the next boulder she is and Jenny as well double gold in boulder and lead in China for the youth world champs yeah she's looking really solid all the way to the zone and then struggling a bit to move the foot Trading flags, flying net. Yeah, a lot of sitting on the map, yes. <laughs> All right, so Osh launches up, palms down, good work from her. She brings that left foot onto the friction bit. Swaps the hand and she'll bump out right, but watch this right foot, it's very risky. And she retreats, oh, back and forth. I think she's trying to get the score for the zone there. Has it been given? Let's see. No, not yet. I don't think it will be. She wasn't really using it, touching it, coming back down. Like, yeah. Jenny is done. Good work from her. Had to get that done, and she has. So that she won't know it, but that is the best start for us at this semi-final. Yeah, she needed it. It's a thumbs up from the judges. She will leave. Oh, she. Oceana was actually awarded the zone. Oh, interesting. Well, this is a good time to talk about appeals, actually, because appeals can come through. Appeals can be made by coaches for or against their athletes, so they can try to upgrade their athlete score or downgrade other athletes' score. So sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes the scores will change, just to let everyone know. Catcher needs a miracle at the moment. Oh, is, oh she might have got one. <laughs> can she get this top? She has to get this. We know four is almost impossible so far, and three is super hard, so... No, down she comes, in trouble. Yeah, didn't look very good on that coordination. But Osh has one minute to get this. Maybe her last try here is saving some energy to try everything now. Oh, Shenso does what we were talking about, runs, slips on the first move. Glad it's the pros who do it as well. I mean, you are a pro, but I'm glad for my sake it's the pros. Oh, he's trying something a bit different. Flicks the foot up. Oh, barely gets it. So much core to do that move. I wonder if she's going to bump again her right hand. Not liking that. Oh, trying a physical way. Shakes her head. She's done. Katya is also done, leaving her with a huge task for the rest of it. That can work against you as well. Some athletes are so used to now being in that sort of cycle. Toby Roberts, for example, during the Olympics was training on his days off because uh, he just didn't know how to not train, you know. Right, Zelia Abazu, as we move into the final three. He looked really good in the qualification round. He did, yes, and he's won so many medals recently, so I was surprised by that. But he'll come back and imagine he'll be in sore. Nile is on the slab and she's done amazing things so far because she unlocked this. Yeah, and she got so close to the top on the third one. Yeah. Zelia matches and goes up left. So far, so good. It's the underkick. Just puts a healing. Wow. Boxes. That's crazy. The flexibility. 
That should be tough for her. Simple stuff, easy, easy work. Best of them to come. It's going to be big for Zelia, this. Look at that flexibility. That's horrendous. <laughs> I'm cringing. Oh. Easily read. Made room for the heel. Got it in. Simple stuff. Okay. Well. And on Matsufuji rests on this slab. The crowd are cheering on to the right as well. Keep an eye on Mao down oh. there. Going for the method that has worked so far. Mm -hmm. so, be good. And look at Mao. Just trying to get a super high up on the builder. Yeah. Oh, wow. Crossed through with the right, nearly held it, touched it. Yeah, plenty of time left on this semi final at the moment. So, t there's a, a team who didn't think she got the zone. So far, still showing she has it. Yeah, so that's under appeal right now. She got given it, and another team is saying that she shouldn't have been given it. Oh, okay. So that's underway. Right, and on Matsufuji goes. Close. Nile making zero progress on the slab again. Oh, wow, Nile just did something crazy. We missed it on camera, but she span. So as she hit the boulder, she turned to face the audience. I'm not sure if... Oh, see, that. Yeah, we're talking top of your screen. Have a look at that yellow slab. Look at the spin. Maybe, you know. I don't think that's the better, but she's been seeming to like it. Look at this. That's unique. And I suppose that allows you to press outwards a bit more. But then, the thing is, once you're in that position, you've then somehow got to work out how to turn back. Turning back is never nice. No, and I, I really don't think there's enough on that slab to do that. And she has changed her mind now. But wow, that just that was cool. But she's looking good with the score right now. Yeah, she should be safe. Yeah. No Mackenzie as well. And the second boulder has actually been proven to be the the real deal. Yeah, true. It's an important one, isn't it? Yeah, only two getting that done. No Mackenzie and Nile, but the, the zone on that is vital. Top six all getting the zone. She's smiling even though she unexpectedly falls off. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that foothold on the red volume there. Yeah. Everyone is slipping off of it. Must yeah. be so bad. Yeah, it's not getting any better either, as you can see the rubber left and the chalk on it. Because it's also a palm, and I think that's part of the problem. You palm into it, and that obviously you don't want chalk on a foothold, so yeah. it's helping. A lot of people are very happy about here, so Natalia will be back in a couple of minutes. We'll just watch some replays. This was Nale's spin. No idea what she was planning to do after she stuck it, but it was good to see. And Celia Abazu in cruise control here as she got that heel up. Made easy work of the first time. Is that the first Rob Cup, Natalia? It is since Doing Salt Lake. After? Yeah, she injured her knee. Had to have a break, obviously, before the Olympics. Olympics was tricky for her. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Natalia is the only one out of this field who has won a Boulder World Cup out of this group. So she's got the pedigree. So we could be seeing a new gold medalist. We could do, yeah. Yeah, we never know, unless Natalia takes it, of course. She needs to get into the finals, first of all, so work to do for her. Yeah. Oh, going for the Anaclan first, and seems to be... She's close, eh? But that is, I think, the harder way to do it. It is definitely harder. Jennifer Buckley. Oh, Sorry, the name Katia. is wrong. Yeah, so that's Katya Debovitz. Jennifer is in action, though. She's on the slab on the left. Oh, sorry, the cordo move on the left. Natalia in now. Brings that left foot up. I'd expect her to do it from here. She went across through. Easy stuff. We'll bump that hand across, I think. Yeah, there we go. Heel in. It is a tough. As expected from Natalia. Great job from her. So her semi-final account is opened with a quick set. All up to 15 athletes have done that now. Talk about the zones later on. And now more than half of the field have tried the slab and still no zone. No, no one's even really pulled on yet. I'm really curious to see if we're going to see more yeah. of it. Oh, she's trying to do different things. I'm watching her as we have these replays here. She's trying to figure out a very static method. Look, she's kind of pressing left and right. 
trying to unlock it. Everyone's been running in. There is Jenny Buckley as she presses up. Buckley's on now. Listen to the crowd. They've really woken up. They were vocal before, but they're screaming at the stage now. And Osh is trying a high foot press. Because you can, you know, you can. those green lines just indicate a limb. It doesn't tell you which limb you have to be on. So you can technically, you know, stand on your head at the beginning if you want to do it. Theoretically, you know, you can do whatever you like as long as there's one hold. Yeah, this has been proving to be such a complex boulder. So hard. It is. Jenny hits the zone again. Starts this swing. Oh, much closer. Right? It is the, the beta that worked for Ocean and Nile. Yeah. Maybe she's maybe if she sticks to it, it's gonna work. Her undoing, I think. Anna Maria Apple is in the danger zone on sixth, and Erin McNeese, who's also looking very strong, she's the last one to come. I think we might see people going to finals with only one top. Yeah. Wow. So Jenny starts this swing back and forth, slaps up at the right, but can't get it. She's probably going to have one more try at this time. Oh, she's tried everything to try to get established on this slab. Static. She wants to do it static. And suddenly she picks up the pace. You know, this is what we were talking about, that she doesn't know that this slab is not been climbed by anyone. Yeah, she's probably so desperate to get something here. Yeah. But so far sitting in first place. Katja takes another big fall, lies on her back. A smile, but 10 seconds to go means no one on the stage will finish the climbs. The Team GB athlete who has exploded onto the scene this year some great results along the way. Qualified for the Olympics. She will be the final athlete to climb here this afternoon. So here is Erin Manice. Copper, she was sixth. Just as good at lead climbing as she is in Boulder. And two bronze medals for the OQS series secured her an Olympic spot. And look at this powerful stuff as she hangs Lots of body tension as she tries to find a foot. I think we're going to see a top. I think we might. If she can get this done, she'll finish the bowl. But yes, one move to go. Easy stuff from Aaron Denise as she pops the heel in. And that's the last time we're going to see bowl the number one. It's done. One, the only one really that is super climbable. And Zelia Abazu, who also cruised the first one, is Trying to find the zone. This was Erin's replay. Cross through with the left hand, out with the right. Little adjustment made the match. Yeah, easy work from her. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, look oh, at wow. that on. This is a replay though, so she didn't do it, but look how close she came. Wow! That is incredible. I think we're going to see a top. First time someone's tickled the top hole there. Mm. Oh my goodness, someone's on the slab. <laughs> that is incredible. Mao Nakamura, the first one to get stood up, but she's still a way away from the zone. Oh, I really want to see something here. I want it for the setters more than anything. She's got to bump that left foot. There's nothing to hold on to, though. I feel like she has to bring her right foot back. Oh, I see, yes. She's oh. too far away to generate. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what she did. Crazy, the same as everyone. Ah, yep. It just worked. Sticky skin. Oh, if she had gotten her right foot a so bit more to the left there. So you think on the first volume, the starting volume? Yeah, on the little, like on the smaller volume. Okay. But then maybe, I mean, maybe that's the problem. Maybe people will be falling off because they've been trying to bring the foot up close to them and it's pushing them off. I don't know. Mm, true. But she looked, she looked way more stable than everyone else on that starting position. She did. But it's such a low percentage move that maybe you need to take it while you've got it. You know, falling off could, be, could mean you don't get there again. 
So the appeal has been rejected for Xian So, so the zone is confirmed for her. And Zilia getting super close on the coordination there. And when we say low percent percentage, what we mean is that, out of, for example, out of 10 goes, you could do it once. You know, it's not something you can learn, but she has done it again nearly and did what you wanted her to do. I talked about appeals. I'm expecting quite a few appeals for this to start coming through because things this close means a zone yes or no would make a big difference. And coaches hold jobs, or not hold, of course. Yeah, for sure. But some of their job is to do that. Maybe we'll see that zone from Oceana getting a field. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh, look, Mao's up again. She's consistent now. And Anne on here going for the top again. Oh, close. That was so close. Oh, no, Mal falls just. And actually, she was going to get called down by the judge for a starting position violation. And on here, getting so, so close. It's like a different climb, isn't it? No she problem. is cruising it. Wow. But look at that. Oh. Just slipping a bit before getting it. Now, Mao is only a 30 seconds, though, but she's got close multiple times. She's got stood up. And Zilia now going for her last attempt as well. Now she makes the match. So you've got to touch two toes down low. She's going for the far right hand. Foot, I mean. I know what you mean. She's very spread out <gasps> in that position. Oh my god, Zilia was so close on the pedal. Oh yeah, and she's run out of time now. Mao is a move away. Come on, get it done. Six seconds. She'll need to pop and hope. Oh, that won't count. That is a very, very, very hard to learn. Very quickly, otherwise I would pull some strings, but this was Zelia's launch over so close. Oh Look yeah. At the left right. hand just sliding over. Oh. And I feel like she needed a top. Yeah, good point. Yeah, very good point. It, it has seemed to be the only boulder apart from number one that gets stops. So, boulder one is done and dusted. Natalia now is on the auto move. Now, she's worked so hard at getting better at coordination moves over the years. It used to be a weakness and isn't anymore. Quite on that attempt. Jennifer Buckley is in action. Katya Debovitz will finish up her final as our scoreboard flicks around. Look at that top six. In fact, look at the top seven. Everyone are top in two zones. It's all down to attempts. And if you want detailed breakdown, you can download the IFSC app or go onto the website and there's live scoring on that from Vertical Life. This has seemed to be one of the hardest semi-finals we've seen so far. Agreed. Yes, it is. It's been interesting, though. It's not been boring. You know, sometimes a hard round can be a bit dull because no one's climbing anything, but... Red Bull, they're super close with tops. Yeah. It's, it's one of those rounds that it could be make or break by just, you know, a couple of holds. I think we'll see a top on the Red Bowler soon. Oh, wow, Natalia just makes that zone. Oh, Jenny's, sorry, Katya stood up on the slab. Look at this. Wow, Katya hanging. That's crazy. She's standing right on the edge between the two volumes where there'll be a bit of a, a oh, line. Look at this. She's, wow. I'm nervous for her head, to be honest, if she slips suddenly. Oh, that is amazing. Oof. And having that close look on this foothold. Very close, eh? yeah, it was super close. Wow. <laughs> Suddenly, this slab is, is interesting again, you know? Yeah. This is a replay. Try to find the edge between the two volumes. And you have to do still so much until you get to the zone. Natalia doing a lot of work climbing her way into this position. Yeah, she's not she's not really finding herself on this start. No. You're burning a lot of energy just yeah. to get there. And then you've still got to do the second half that not many have done. Well, only two. Yeah, she's taking time there to breathe. Very close, though. You know. Yeah, maybe she should try how Shona and Ali did it. Yeah, bringing the left hand under. 
Yeah, she's not using that left yet. She kind of, you can see the body start to go down towards it, but not quite. Jenny doing a knee bar. First one to make that work. But someone else tried yeah, it. I don't remember who it was. This could be the top you were talking about, but she has got the left hand there, and I'm not sure about that. Yeah, that's not, not the best. No, she that. needs to hand sort or match. She is finding it. Oh, wow, she could be in here. This could be it. Whoa! Oh. I had my head in the hands here in the commentary box with that one. Oh. She is not happy with that. No, she's close as we've seen that. That match was awkward, but she made it work. But yeah, she can definitely make this work. That was so close. Very close. Katya as well. This is watching another replay. She falls from the slab, but she was in the same position. Yeah, launching over. Look at that, but then sliding down. That would have cost some skin as well. And Natalia hasn't found a top yet. No, she hasn't. In only 42 seconds. And she does need this boulder to be in a good position. Yeah, she has to find lots of zones, if not. If she gets it, of course, it's kind of done, but nope. Jenny goes one last time with 20 seconds on the clock. And Catch It is making the slab look really good now. Falls, as I say that. Oh, Nibar not working this time. Oh, Jenny's not going to get this. Yeah, she has to leave. No extra points, of course, for getting in the zone and coming near the top. Catch has got six seconds. Oh. She'll be out. That was so close. Which I would personally quite like. I wouldn't mind it right now. It's warm here in the commentary box, isn't it? Yeah. yeah the mascot is... Uh, I don't know what the mascot is, to be honest. Yeah, he had his coffee in the morning. <laughs> yes, he did. All right, Erin McNeese starts her boulder number two. Last time we see this nearing the end of our semi-final here to come up to you. five to two. Oh, but that's not... Oh, there you go, tagging the start. Yeah, got a strange position, hey, but she made it work. Let's see if she can get the zone on this attempt. Oh, wow. Heal in. Amazing. Oh, and Zelia falling on the top there. Oh, so, so close. Zelia needs this. And there, she gets the results. And so I think Erin is going to do it. Erin is understated. She's quite quiet, and she does all her talking on the wall. And I, I quite like that, you know? Yeah. I really, really like watching her. And look at Zelia there. No. Just oh. missing the top. Yeah, Jenny kind of slid down it. Zelia fired off it. <laughs> he is entertaining the crowd pretty well. He is, isn't he? All right, Aaron pulls on. Zelia is still resting here. Yeah, I think she'll rest for quite a while. She knows the beater. She might go for one last try. All or nothing. Erin again, kicks right, holds it, not quite. So Zelia launches up again, she's rested a while, now presses in with that right hand, gets the foot where so many people have slipped. There we go, seeing the drop knee heel hook. Gets the zone. Interesting bit on this section. It's really complicated, isn't it, series of instruments? Yes. And she gets the cream pretty well. One move away now. Gets herself set. No! Oh. <laughs> now they're back to it. Yes. Yeah, literally. Oh, dear. Poor mascots. They're having no luck. Okay. Anil Matsufuji on the stab. Erin McNeese coming up. Hopefully we see a top from her here. <gasps> oh, Erin. Yeah, it's, I was expecting more tops on the second boulder after an alley and Osh came yeah, up. I was too, especially near this top lot. I think by now we can safely say that this is a very hard round. It's low scoring, tense. 100%. 
seconds. And Zilia going for her last attempt here. 38 seconds on the clock. One last big power effort from Zilia as she pulls on. It's the left hand, palms down right. She's in cruise mode already. Knows exactly what to do on the first move here. Big drop. So far, exactly the same. It's the crimp of the letter down before. I love how she mastered the whole sequence. Let's see. Oh, she slid off the notex maybe with a left foot that time. Well, we will say goodbye to that boulder and goodbye to boulder number two. Just two left in this round. And what a round it's been. So let's see a replay here. This was on boulder two. Zelia came close. The crimp at the end was really tricky, though. Made the match. That's the crimp. And let's see where she fired. She tried to match it to make the swap. Enjoying the atmosphere here in the stadium. It's been a great comp. Prague putting on a wonderful IFSC competition here. And in terms of the rest of the season, this is almost us done. We have, of course, though, a para-climbing World Cup in Arco, which I cannot wait for. It's coming up next weekend. And I jump straight on a plane, as there's lots of other people, and we fly over to South Korea. There is Natalia Grossman on the power boulder. Let's see. Didn't manage to make the send of the second one. She's currently sitting in ninth, though, so really close, and she's already got the zone on this one. Doesn't like that move. Jenny runs on. That hand bobbling off. And in ninth at the moment, so she needs a zone. So whereas everyone else was getting stressed for this, but it was okay. For Jenny, it's important. Yeah, attempts are so important to these zones. Natalia pulls back on, fires up into this press with the right hand, has a huge fire off. Somehow she saves it. I don't know how. Got to trust that right foot though as she presses up, has a look up left, stands tall. Natalia really having to grit her teeth here, big drop knee in as she drops that left hand and hits the zone again. She's already got the zone though, she needs to finish this thing off. Right hand through, come on Natalia. Big move needed, gets it, holds it, this is it, we've seen the top. That is amazing. The first stop on the red and black boulder, that is so cool. You called it, you said we'd see it, and you were right. Wow. Well, two tops for Natalia on the power boulder as well. Not the maybe easier Cordo move. <laughs> that is so nice from her. Well, she will have another chance to fight for her second, not second, a gold medal. I'm glad we saw top. She was one of our last hopes. Yeah, she was. Thank goodness for that. Well, yeah, last year was won by uh, Oriane Berton, just beating Yanya on Yanya's comeback to comp climbing after an injury. Oriane not here at this competition, taking some rest. Something. Natalia was psyched with this top. Yeah, she had to fight for that one. She nearly lost at the very beginning. She popped the right hand off and was nearly gone. She gets it. She might be in finals. Yeah, so far sitting out of that final zone. Yeah, she has to find a miracle here. She needs to be the first one to try and get that zone. Big ask, isn't it? Especially when you can see it, he's falling off it already. And cool to see it from this angle. You can see how bad that foothold is. It's just complicated. Yeah, you can't go too much, but you can't go too little. Yeah. But it's interesting that no one's got really particularly close. If you've stood up on it, but not many. Yeah, that's it for her. Eight seconds. She has to get it, and she's not going to get it. So Jenny Buckley will miss out on finals. Top six, there's draws there as well, so that will have to be worked out afterwards. To upgrade and downgrade others, it's going to be a bit of a battle. Yeah, we can see Natalia's face here. Oh. Really fighting on this border. How does it work? Do you have Brazilian coaches here as well? Um, not in this competition. So how does it work with appeals for you? Do you have to ask for other coaches to sort of look for things for you? Because you have a big team, you know, coaches are taking all that pressure away from you. You have to do it all. Yeah, yeah, it's tricky. For sure tricky. It's nice to have when the coaches are here, yeah. like when they come to the comps. 
it takes this extra stress out of us. Okay, Zelia is on the slab, Erin's on the power ball. I would put money on Erin doing this. This is her kind of thing. Definitely is, she's looking good on it. Not that time though. I Only. do think she's going to be awarded the zone. So Zelia will... Oh, now she got it. Yeah, there we go, so she's up into sixth already. Zelia Avazu still in the finals in fourth. I've just realised that by the end of this comp, we might have to watch someone for five minutes falling off the slab. It's going, to, it's going to be a tough one to commentate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, Erin pulls on once more on the power bowl that gets the right foot in. And the last time that we're going to see the red ball there now. Yeah, true. I'd love to finish off with another top there. Only one athlete getting it. Yeah, not getting the top on the second one like the other two did. She needs this top. We know it's possible. So, And, and do remember, also the reason I'm wary is that appeals, appeals, appeals. It might happen after. This is the... We'll find out there'll be a graphic at the end of the broadcast with the provisional results, and that'll be confirmed later on. I think even Mao is already confirmed, from my calculation. Okay. Yeah, yours. <laughs> yeah, Mao and Anon are tied at the moment in the semi final round. Oof. It's going to be close, isn't it? Erin goes again, minute 28. She doesn't necessarily need this, but she'd like it. There's ties on fourth as well. Came up with the left hand, but a way off and not coming close to figuring it out yet. Yeah, I'm never quite sure of that rule. In terms, because we do sometimes see more athletes coming through into a finals. Right. So far, two ties. Look, Zelia and Erin yeah. also tied in fourth. Yeah, exactly. But if Zelia can get this, and she's a French slab climber, so but she doesn't know what to do, right? That look of despair on the face, like, I don't get it. Erin not coming close either. Mm. Yeah, we might be looking at a final with seven people then. Could be. I would like it. More climbing. Exactly, yeah, we get to see more action. Zelia, though, stood up, but she's running out of time. Look, she looks, oh my goodness, for the first time. That was the closest we've seen. Oh, I'm so sad that she didn't have enough time. No. Only Natalia and Erin can make it work now. Yes, only a couple through. Just slabs to go. So we've got two slabs, then we'll say goodbye. This was Erin on the power boulder. I thought she'd get it, but she didn't really come close. I've lost my money. <laughs> what I put on. If you've been listening to us, I'm Matt Groom, I'm here with Rodrigo Hernada. I haven't mentioned your name in a while, but I've forgotten. First time in the commentary box in Team Brazil. Right, Natalia, wow, she's straight away in. That is incredible. That is, isn't it? We've seen 19 athletes fall off this thing, and Natalia, sorry, 18, and Natalia is straight on it. Natalia flashing like the start position. Oh, she's had a great round. Yeah, I was surprised after boulder two, but she's pulled it back really well. It's just a different boulder when she does it. Crimping the edge of the wall there. Oh, oh nice. Totally allowed that. Fires oh. right. That's a zone. Oh my goodness. That is magical. Oh, the crowd cannot believe it either. Anyone who's left this stadium early, you're a fool because <laughs> what a way to finish. She might finish this thing off. Amazing performance. Oh my goodness. Right, we'll jump up. Come on, it's a yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, setters, you've been redeemed on that one. Brilliant. <laughs> Natalia that is losing through. Three tops in the zone, way out in front. Let's watch this again. She was crimping the edge of the wall somehow and then popped dynamically to a, to a zone that is tiny and sloping. It's so bad. I mean, that's how you become such a crowd favourite. Yeah, it's true. You know, you've got to earn that respect and Natalia does. She does. And look at the smile she heard for that. I think she knew that no one's got close to it. Bump the foot over and then a launch to the top. I was praying that she didn't drop this because I wanted to see a top. That That's was glad being super emotional here in this yeah, final. It is. Big smile from Natalia. Great work from her. 
Okay, well, we have a minute and a half, and I want to talk about Brazilian climbing for a moment here because I'm desperate to climb in Brazil. What's the outdoor cragging like? I gotta say, it's it should be more famous. Okay, it is incredible. We have I've I've been outdoors a lot in quite a few countries, and I gotta say, Brazil is still my favorite. Wow, I'm biased, I know. Yeah, but, but you're allowed to be. Yeah, but Boulder as well as lead climbing. All right, Erin Manise, the last climber out on this slab. We know it's possible. She would have heard the reaction from the crowd, so she knows it's possible. Similar method to everyone, palming down before and straight off. I gotta take you rock climbing. Uh, please do, honestly. Of course, apart from appeals, but if it stands like this, we will have seven. So the two Japanese. I remember. We haven't seen it in a bit. I, I did the European Cup in Bologna where we saw speed. But Erin uh, gets that left foot for a moment. Yeah, we're on our last three minutes here. Last chance to get a top on the fourth quarter. And it's not too tiring this, so Erin can go again and again. There's, as I said earlier, there's music, DJs, live music, there's films they show. Yeah. Playing Silence, Adam Andres film, as you'd expect. Erin, hanging, struggling, kicking the foot back in. Yeah. We saw Zilia get really close, but time out. Building up the excitement as Erin comes, but no, just always overbalancing. Yeah, I, I have tried. There was a film from a couple of years ago we never actually released. Um, but you know, it, it's like interesting. So the Nigerian athlete we had on is my kind of level in terms of climbing, and he didn't get a zone. And I think, I mean, you know, I've climbed AA boulders, for example. So I'm not a bad climber, but the level that you guys are at, it's a, just a different world. And I'm so impressed by everyone who can even get anywhere near qualifying, for example. All right, well, Erin, the time ticks down. She says goodbye, but she will be in a final. And we will just wait here for the results. Well, here's the results as we know them. Natalia Grossman, Osh McKenzie, Naili Mignon, Zilia Avazu, Erin McNeese, Mao Nakamura, and Anon Matsufuji will be our finalists if things stay as they are. She am so just missing out due to attempts. Tough stuff for her. Anna Marie Apple also coming close, and Jennifer Buckley as well. And then after that, Ayala Karem missing out on a couple of vital zones along the way, and zones were all important as we come down to Sofia Yokoyama in 20th.